I like it when it's, you know, warm. Don't tell anybody that I told you that I love food over women. So this is what I'm gonna do today. Shiny Sunday afternoon right here in Katutura, Winduk. I mean, they said single quarters, yeah? But I'm seeing, they said single quarters, but I'm seeing a lot of quarters. Why are they saying it's single quarters? But what am I even doing here? Yo, it's shiny, yeah? The sun is really shiny, but it's super cold, man. I think it's winter. And it's so sad when you, you go to a country and it's winter and you are there alone, sleeping alone, just two legs. God, you know what, please, yeah? <laughs> but you know what, I'm not gonna cry anymore because you know what, I have something special that everyone is telling me to try. You know what it is? Hi. Hi, you don't know that I'm in Namibia? Thank you, see. I'm in Namibia, yeah. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Great. Yeah, welcome to Namibia, man. Thank you so much. Really? You are in Ghana, you are visiting the houses. Oh. oh! I also watch your video on YouTube. Tell us something about Namibia. Oh, Namibia is a, a hospitality country. They, are, they love everybody, they love Africa. So actually, even me, I'm not a Namibian, I'm a Congolese, but oh. we are in Namibia, we are free, so we, wow. we are doing our works. There's nothing about it. How, how do Namibians treat you in, uh, in, in, in oh, there? We are cooperating very nice with Namibians. Mm. We are cooperating very nice. They are not like some of the countries, for example, in South Africa. You know how they are treating our fellow Africans, yeah. but here in Namibia, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. Yes. So you're living your best life in Namibia? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, my brother. I will. And I will enjoy to see myself on your video. Ah, you will see yourself, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah? Oh, yeah. I know you are with me. You know, I, I told them that I love food over women. You love food over women? Yeah. That's a dangerous statement to say. Though. Really? I don't have to yeah. say that? You don't have to say that, but, well... <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I came to Namibia and hair and food. I don't know which one to choose though, but I, I love food over women. <laughs> so I have to close my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. My name is Wadab. Ah, no. Do you know my name though? Of course, why not? So this is Oshetu Market, Oshetu Community Market, mm -hmm. famously known as Single Quarters. Okay. This is a market where they sell the famous kapana. It's a grilled meat mm -hmm. that is grilled in the open and you eat it right there as it's being grilled. You eat it right there? You eat it right there. But, but meat is not a heavy food. Well, in Namibia, meat is heavy because you can have it as a meal. Just meat without anything else. Just like meat. most people, when they don't want to cook at their houses, they just come here, they buy kapana, sit down, eat, go back, sleep. Don't tell me that all these people are here for kapana. Yes, all ah, these people. Hi. You see? <laughs> all you these people kapana, are here for man. kapana. All oh. these cars that you see right now. And this is not the only parking. If you go around the market, there are cars parked there. They are all here for kapana. It's a Sunday. Usually on Sunday afternoons like this, late afternoons, people want to come and eat kapana. So is it expensive to Try kapana, is it expensive? Not at kapana? all, not at all. And you know, one funny thing that people do basically, because once you get to the stands, right, they will start cutting meat for you to taste. So some people will just come, taste. You don't have to they tell leave. me, I'm just gonna taste the yeah. So yeah, oh, it's not expensive at it's all. It's not expensive at all. Not at all. So you know what, I don't wanna talk too much um, since I love food over everything. Can you just take me? Let yes. me just go. Let's and go just, don't and enjoy that Kapana. She's also a YouTuber and the YouTube channel name is Ceci K. Please, the link is gonna be in the description. Go show her some love. Like, Definitely. subscribe, and be part of her family. Thank you. All right, so you. let's go. The whole place is packed, man. Yeah. So like everybody is here for Kapana. Yeah. Wow. You see how they are calling already? They're calling. <laughs> they are calling us to go taste. Oh, that, that is for tasting. Would you like to taste? That's just for tasting. Just for tasting. Please, eh? Tasting, eh? Yeah. I, I love meat, bro. Let me <laughs> taste. And you have to add to. You put it on the spice and on salt. The spice. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, like this is the first taste. I don't know if I can try another one. Okay, this is the first taste, so we can move on and taste 
another. on another stand. Yeah, so how many stands do they have? There are a lot of stands. We have up to that side. Oh, by the time I get to the end, I think I will fall. <laughs> but they might catch you, so they you need to be me. careful. Okay, good. No, no, They'll catch you. Just, let me try the second one. Okay. Can I taste, man? Thank you. Can I taste? It. Test it with me. Let me taste as well. You see, I like it when it has fat on it. That's when it tastes better. When it, when it what? When it has fat. It tastes better. After testing, mm -hmm. then you start to buy. Then you buy. They'll ask you how much you want. You tell them how much you want. Okay. Usually what happens is that you buy from different stands. You don't give the whole, let's say you want Kapana for $100. If you give $100, you won't get enough. So you have to buy little by little, $30, $20, you know? Let me buy 30 from you and buy 20 from somebody else. you know? you know And then you get a variety, you know? Otherwise, if you just give $100 at once, you are not going to be given a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yes, big boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm big boss, but I'm buying just thirty, bro. Thirty. Yeah. Is that our meat? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But you don't. So we put, we sprinkle the spice and the salt. Don't put too much salt. You don't put too much salt. Not too much salt. Yeah, just a little bit. Because we're gonna mix it up. The, is, the, is this pepper? Because I yeah. love pepper, you know that? Hey. Yeah, there's pepper. That's pepper, eh? Mm. Yo, more spices. Yeah, yeah. I think for this size of uh, meat, it's enough. Know, I went to the Himba village mm -hmm. and they cook goats with only water. With only water? No, no salt? No spices, no salt. Is and it? then they gave me to eat, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not coming back again. <laughs> How did it taste? <laughs> Oh, is there a taste? Uh, no, I mean it tastes better though, but mm. I, I just don't feel comfortable eating something without, without pepper. salt or pepper. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. We can proceed and go to the next stand maybe. That, but you have to eat this like that, just like that? No, you have to buy, um, we call it salsa. It's a mixture of tomatoes and onions cut in small pieces. And you add to it? Yes, you add to it. And that's it? With pap. Let's go you call it head. fufu, isn't it? <laughs> we call it oshifima, oisima. Oshifima. Oshifima, yeah. <laughs> Let's go get that then. Right. Yeah, that's the same meat that they get and go. How are you doing? <laughs> so I, I can buy this and just take and home, cook, right? Yeah, at Instead home. of just buying, but is this still the same as kapana? It's not kapana. When you cook it by yourself, what is it called? It's, when you cook it by yourself, it's not kapana. It's ah. stew or whatever you give it. <laughs> So Whatever like, name, when it's only kapana here? when it's grilled in the open and you that's buy it from there. That's when it's kapana. So when I take it home, I grill myself. It's no longer kapana. Mm -mm, it's no longer kapana. No, then I want kapana. <laughs> Let's go. Eat some salad. Have yes. You salad? We call it salsa. Salsa. Salad is yeah. also okay. So it's tomatoes, onions, cooking oil. What? And some spices, the same kapana spice. We call it kapana spice. We call kapana it pepe. Spice. Yeah, we call it kapana spice. Mm. I'm a professional. You're a professional. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Mix everything. Where can we buy pap? Mm. Fresh, yeah. How, how, how much do you say? So I need just ten dollars. Yeah, that's this enough. Ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to pay. Sister, Gasta. Hi. Thank you. So now we have to look for a place where we can sit. No, this is it. We just sit and then we eat. All right. Is this food special to? Namibians or something? It's very special. We love it. We all love it. We miss it sometimes. Like if you haven't eaten kapana for a week, you will miss it. You feel like just coming to single quarter and buy. You know, should I say this again? I feel like it's the same everywhere in Africa. 
because when I go to Kenya, mm -hmm. this is called um, Ugali, right? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. can I taste it first? Yeah, you because can it looks it. like Ugali. It's just you like can it's, taste it. Ugali is more whitish, but this mm -hmm. is not white. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then combination with the pepper mm -hmm. and then. And then the meat. And the meat. Yes. How does it taste? <laughs> now I know why they said it's special to Namibia. Mm -hmm. Got the perfect combination, but I'm so sorry. I'm not a fan of. <laughs> of this? Okay, this, because we have different languages, mm -hmm. in Oshuambo, it's called Oshifima. Mm -hmm. In Rukwangali, it's called Isima. Mm. So it's made from millet flour. Oh. Yes. They sell it here at the market, the flour itself. Wow. Yeah. So does it taste like ugali or? No, I just don't want to add meat to it. I just want to. You just want this alone. Yeah. I don't think it tastes Nothing like... familiar. Nothing familiar. <laughs> it looks like ugali, mm -hmm. but it doesn't taste like ugali. But with this... This is our stuff of food anyways. It tastes like nyamachoma. <laughs> And you know, Kenyans also have this. They have this. Yeah. Is it made in the same way? Or? I, I don't think so, but mm. similar. All right. So, usually you take the fat as well, you know? You take the fat plus a piece of meat, you dip it into the salad. So she's showing me how to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take the fat, add one more of this. Dip into the salad. This is how it is here in Namibia. And every Namibian is telling me, if you don't try kafara, please don't leave the country. Absolutely. I mean, this is one thing you have to try when you come to Namibia. You can't go back without trying kafana. And it's cheap to buy. Very cheap. This is 10, 20, 40. Mm -hmm. That's how we spend. Probably 70, uh, 70, 70 million dollars. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, this is my favorite. <laughs> and like I said, food over women all the time. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just leave you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. And no, you know what? Open Eat. your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> ah, come on. Why are you smiling? Just open your mouth. Uh, hey. <laughs> Tell them something. All right, so if you have to come to Namibia, make sure you try out Kapana. And for it to taste even better, they should be fed on it. And there should be salsa. We call this salsa. It's salad, mm -hmm. but it's called salsa. And of course, the Mahangu pap. It's Mahangu pap. Yeah. Mahangu. So, so yeah. millet is Mahangu. Millet is Mahangu. In what language? It's both in uh, Oshiwambo and Rukwangali. Okay. So yeah, it's Mahangu. And this is where you get the best kapana. You can get it anywhere else, but single quarters is where the best kapana is. If you're coming to Namibia, mm -hmm. when you get to Vindu, this place is just like, I think one or two kilometers away from the main city. Yeah. Just come, look for single quarters. You will see this stand right here. Come and let me give you a secret. This is for free. If you don't want to buy, it's okay. You can just it's from every stand. You can just taste. Taste and go home. <laughs> Thank you. Just and make sure you don't get in trouble though. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget that she's a YouTuber. And what's the name of your channel? My name is Ceci K on YouTube. The link will be in the description. It's your favorite village by Mr. Ghana, baby. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing video. And I hope you guys love the Kapana. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and be part of this awesome family. I'll see you in the next one. I am Maya.